Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to do Twitter text mining on SAS. So some of you probably have seen my video using doing Twitter text mining on R. So obviously we could do this in SAS. And there's some pros and cons for using R and there's obviously some advantage uh, using SAS. I think using SAS it will probably give you a little bit more comprehensive information and you get to actually use all the objects that is provided under um, the API given by Twitter. So this is a little bit more helpful, but however, it does take a little bit more time to execute. In any case, um, let's go ahead and do uh, Twitter text mining with using SAS. Okay, so the first thing that you would need to do is that you would need to actually create your consumer key and consumer secret. And this is the one thing that you'll have to do as a Twitter developer. And if you don't know how to do it, um, you can probably watch my video uh, regarding Twitter with R. So the early part, it deals with how to get certified and get your keys and uh, secrets for Twitter. So you can refer to that video. So let's assume that you have um, your consumer key and secret. Okay, the next thing that you would have to do is that you would probably want to save it as a file. Okay, and this just happened to be the files that I am saving. And it's right here. I do have it right here. Okay, so this is where I have my files. Okay, so I'm going to do a Twitter query on two accounts right now. So I'm going to do it for Shaq, which, who is a retired basketball player, and LeBron James, who is also a current basketball player. Okay. So now let's go through the steps uh, one by one. So for here, I'm just creating some temporary files that I would like to um, get the tweets for Shaq and um, King James. Okay. And I am specifying where I want to have my response kept permanently. Okay, and now this step is trying to get um, my grant access using the consumer key and the consumer key that I have uh, provided uh, via Twitter. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to use procedure HTTP to get a post. Okay, so I'm going to get a token to um, authenticate myself. So that is, I'm going to use my key and secret to get an access token um, via online. Okay, so once I do that, I get a bearer token. So what this is, is that it's going to be a token that I'm going to be using in order to get the text messages. Okay, so you would notice that um, while I do this, you have to have some groovy um, Java uh, classes. So that's all in under jar files. So this is the most recent one as of uh, November of 2017. This may be changing, so if you are watching this video a little bit later than November 2017, then you may need an actually an updated uh, Groovy file. Okay, so once I have that, I'm going to be creating my bearer token, and I'm going to be using that to get the, uh, those are just the Java classes to get um, the tweets. Okay, so for now, um, I'm going to only get. 50 of the tweets right now you obviously you can probably increase this to how many that you would like okay for getting the tweets itself and i'm going to be getting or using an cvs file as well so i have some jar files the so java classes for open cvs so this is the most recent one right now so that is um, obviously if you are uh, watching this video a little bit later than currently I'm making this video, you may need to actually get a updated version of that. Okay. So there are two um, jar files, Java classes that is actually needed for SAS. So that makes it a little bit more complicated than R. And obviously um, that um, as time goes by, if you have a different or an updated uh, Java class files, you'll have to update these packages. Okay. In any case, you have to have these two packages that is currently up here in the same folder that you have specified. So these, this is the specified folder that I have. Okay. Once I have that, now I'm going to get some basic information off of the Twitter account. So I'm going to get ID, text, and whether it's truncated around when it's created and some information regarding users and some uh, retweet counts and favorite counts. Okay. And lastly, I'm just going to be imported uh, into as a SAS um, data set. Okay. 
So now given all this process, let's probably go ahead and execute my code. Okay, like I said, you need to have your consumer key and consumer secret. Okay, and let's highlight everything here. And uh, let's create a file. So for now, I'm just going to be calling it uh, under work uh, directory and tweets. And under my work directory, you would notice there is nothing right now. And once I execute it, then you will probably notice that this file is going to be created. Okay, so I have executed everything. And yes, here we goes. We have um, the tweets files under my work directory. So let's go ahead and click this. Okay, and I clicked it, and you would notice that I'm getting all these uh, tweets in real time for Shaq and um, LeBron James. Okay. And you would notice that I'm getting all the information all the way up to retweets and counts. Okay, and um, I could probably go back to my folder here, and you would notice that this is also the same information. So that is, you may notice that this is the same information that I got for the tweets folder. Okay, so that is, it seems that the uh, first tweet was by ID number uh, uh, 928. 7844 about um, King James and um, Kevin Love who are, hey idiots, do something. <laughs> Some interesting tweets right there. Okay, and you would notice that, yes, it's the same number person that is making the tweets. And it's, um, yes, it's the same tweets that I have been saving to the CSV file. Okay. Okay, whoops. Uh, I do not want to change that. Okay, so yes, this is the second tweet, and those are the tweet uh, messages that has been saved. Okay, so let me close this for a while, and obviously what you would like to do is that maybe you want to get some other interesting information other than the ones that I have specified. Okay, so in that case, you can refer back to the Twitter developer library, okay? And I'm gonna probably go down here, and let's say for example, I want to get some other interesting information about a user. Okay, so that is, I have got the ID, um, names, locations, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, but I haven't gotten um, profile images or language. Language is the preferred language that the uh, user has specified. So for this case, let's try to get um, the user's language. Okay, so I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to probably try to get a user language. Whoops, that's not what I meant. Okay. I'm going to copy this and so I'm going to say this is going to be my 15th string. So this is going to be user.lang and it's going to be a two string. Okay, and I'll probably need to increase the string size to 16. Okay, and also here I'm going to be having another header here. I'm going to call this 15 as well. I'm going, going to say this, my header was language. Okay. And I believe there's, I also need to increase the array size again over here. Okay. So I'm going to change that to 16. Okay, once I have done that, Okay, all I need to do is I do not need to authenticate myself again, so I'm going to be just uh, executing from proc uh, groovy here, just these two files, and again, I'm going to be um, importing it to my uh, Twitter file, or as Twitter works Twitter um, file. Okay, so I'm going to execute this. Okay, and it seems that, yes, I am getting a little bit more variables, so let me check this again. So that is, um, let's go over here to the right, whether I have a language, and yes, I do have a language, another uh, column, a little bit interesting information, and you would notice that there, uh, the user's preference, uh, preferred language is mostly English. I do see some Spanish, some Spanish, there are some Spanish fans for uh, Shaq and uh, LeBron James, and uh, mostly Spanish or English. 
and those are the user preferences that you would probably be uh, seeing. Or there are some Portuguese right here, some Portuguese fans. Okay. So um, you can always uh, go back here to, or, or let's go to the um, Excel file and just to make sure we're getting the same results. Okay, let's go back to my Excel. Okay, and yes, you would notice that um, the language has been uh, included as the new column. Oh, we had some uh, English from Great Britain, Great Britain users who are some fans of Shaq and LeBron James. Okay, so let's probably close this now. Okay, and like I said, you can uh, go back to um, Twitter's library and um, try to specify any things that you are interested. Maybe you could um, try to get those informations as well. But you would notice that some of them are null values. So if you were to try to uh, read in the information, you would not get that information. Okay. So in any case, um, I hope um, this was a good, um, helpful introductory video in terms of uh, Twitter text mining use SAS. Obviously, um, SAS and R are probably the two prominent softwares that you, we use these days. And hopefully being able to you, uh, do both in both languages is going to be very much helpful for you. Okay. All right. Thanks. And um, see you next time.